everybody. This is Diana from So Very Crafty, and we are here today to make this terrific little Bible or book cover with handles and a tie. This project is super simple, and it is a beginner sewing project that is perfect if you're just starting out, and it's a great sort of bag making uh, initiation project because there are some bag making skills that are involved in making this particular Bible or book cover. This particular cover that I'm using uh, today can be used on any size book cover. I'm going to show you how to measure this out so that you can use it on any size book that you want. Um, I'm using, uh, the cover I'm making today is going to be smaller than the one I've made here for the prototype um, book cover. But um, I will show you how to measure this out so that you can make it for any size book or Bible that you would like to make. It is very simple to do. So I hope you enjoy this project today. It's a fun one and super, super simple. I'm not even gonna show any sewing in this one today. It is that easy to do. So we're going to get started uh, on making this Bible project. If you enjoy this project, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and ding that bell for notifications. And if you want more sewing and crafting tutorials, head over to www.soberrycrafty.com for loads and loads of more sewing and crafting tutorials that you won't find here on the YouTube channel. So as far as this terrific little Bible cover goes, let's get started on how we make it. The first thing that we're going to need is a book or a Bible. Now I've chosen this smaller version uh, of a Bible than the one that I did for the prototype. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open it up. And you're going to take a ruler and you're going to measure it, or you can measure it on your cutting table. It's completely up to you. Now my Bible opened up measures 12 and a half inches wide, and it measures about 10 and an eighth inches, or eight and an eighth inches high. So those are my initial measurements. 12 and a half inches wide, 8 and an eighth inch tall. And to those two measurements, I'm going to add 2 inches. So my final fabric cutting measurements are going to be 14 and a half inches by 10 and an eighth. And from those fabrics, I'm going to cut one outer fabric and one lining fabric. And I have done that for you here. I have cut an outer, uh, an outer fabric. I'm using this uh, hydrangea fabric today and a lining fabric. And I'm using my favorite uh, Kona cotton for the lining. You're going to need two sleeve pieces for your project today. And the sleeves are where the ends of your book slide into the book cover. And to do that, you're just going to measure about three quarters of the way to the spine. And my book measures four inches. And to that, you're going to add an additional one half inch. You're going to cut two outer pieces and two lining pieces because you're going to have two of these sleeves, one for the front and one for the back. You're also going to need the handles. And for the handles, you are going to need two pieces, or one, two pieces that measure four inches by 10 inches. And that will make the handles. 
And you're also going to have some ties, as I've shown you in the prototype, to tie this book cover together. And you're going to take a 3 inch by 16 inch, or depending on how big your Bible is, you may want to do an 18 inch here. Uh, piece of fabric that you're ultimately going to cut in half to make two. But again, your measurements are going to be different than my measurements today, uh, depending on the size of your book or Bible that you're going to use. Just remember that you're going to add two inches to the size of your Bible when it's opened up and a half inch to your sleeve pieces so that you can um, account for the seam allowances that we are going to be using today. And normally I like to use a quarter or three eighths inch seam allowance, but for this project we're going to use a one half inch seam allowance for, uh, for this project. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to create our handles and our ties. So we have one piece that measures the 16 inch by three inch for our ties. And we're gonna make this just like a bag handle. When I said that this has some bag making techniques, one of the things that you do in bag making is you make handles and you'll fold the long raw edges to the center and you'll press those together and then you'll fold them again the long way and press them so that the raw edges are enclosed and then you're just going to stitch up both sides of your handle. In this case, th these are going to be our ties. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to do exactly the same thing for the two handle pieces. These are a little bit larger. They're four inches, not as long, but they're four inches wide. And once you fold them in half, lengthwise and then fold in half again, you'll come up with a one inch handle for your Bible cover today. So I'm going to head over to the sewing machine and I'm just going to stitch these handles and these ties, just a straight stitch up both sides of the folded piece and I'm gonna be right back. Okay, so I have stitched these handles and the tie. I'm gonna take the tie, I'm gonna fold it in half, and I'm just gonna cut it in half. Just like that. And that's gonna be our ties. The next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to take my flap pieces and I'm going to take them both and place them right sides together with the lining piece, that corresponding lining piece. I'm going to stitch just along the long edge and that's it, just along the long edge. Once I've stitched along the long edge, I'm gonna turn it right sides out, press, and then just top stitch along that seam. And that's all there is to creating the sleeve for your Bible cover uh, cover. And um, so I'm just going to head over to the sewing machine and I am just going to stitch along this long edge, turn it right sides out and press and top stitch. And I'll be back and we'll move on to our next step. Okay, so now you can see that I have made my two sleeves. I've top stitched along the sides 
And I have, uh, I switched out my bobbin, just so you know, um, to this green color so that it matched. Um, that's a little sewer's trick if you're a beginner and you may not know that you can switch out your bobbin to match the, un the underside of your fabric. So I did that. Now it's time to put, start to put things together. I'm going to take my outer lining piece, which is the biggest piece that we've cut. We have two that we've cut. We've cut the lining piece and the outer piece. I'm going to take my lining piece and I am going to do several things. I am going to take my sleeve pieces and I'm going to place them at the ends of my lining piece with the raw edges matching. And so my top stitched seams are facing inside. Now I'm going to take my handle pieces and I'm going to place them in the center of my book cover and we can measure this if we like. This is not quite the center. That's about right. And I'm just going to take some wonder clips and I'm going to clip these together. I'm then going to take one of my ties and I'm going to place it right here in the center and I'm going to add a wonder clip. I'm going to do the, exactly the same thing on the other side. Now we have all of these pieces together and we have a choice to make here. We can just baste these along here if we like, which is what I'm going to do. Or we can go ahead and add our outer fabric piece to this. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and baste these because it'll make things a lot easier for me. So I have gone ahead and I have just tacked these into place to make my life easier. The other thing I did while I was over at the sewing machine, which I should have done when I was making these uh, ties, is I folded under the short raw edges of the ties so that there's no raw edges there anymore. And I should have done that when I created the ties in the first place. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the outer piece. And the one thing that I did with the outer piece is I added some interfacing to it. In the prototype, I used canvas, which is quite heavy because the Bible that I used it on had a hard cover and I thought it needed the extra strength. In this particular project, I'm using sort of a lightweight home decorator weight fabric. Um, and I really thought that it needed a little boost. So I added some SF101 from Pellon to the outer fabric piece. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to place this 
outer fabric piece right sides together with all of my other pieces. And I'm just going to clip them using some Wonder Clips. You can pin if you like. But as most of you know who follow So Very Crafty, I do like my Wonder Clips. So we are just going to clip these. This all the way around. Now you can use as many pins or clips as you like, depending on whether or not you're, you're a beginner or an intermediate sewist. It's completely up to you how many you use. I'm just gonna use a few here. And once you have clipped this together, you are going to go over to the sewing machine and you are going to stitch all the way around this piece using a one half inch seam allowance. So you're gonna stitch the long edge all along the side edges and only part way along the bottom because we're gonna to need to turn this right sides out. So I'm going to leave an opening. I'm gonna take this clip out and I'm gonna leave an opening right along here so that I can turn my project right sides out. And remember, if you're a beginner sewist, when you're stitching along these edges, stop at the corners with your needle down, pivot, and then bring your needle down to the other edge. Stop with the needle down, and then turn, and that way you can get some nice sharp corners for this project. So let me head over to the sewing machine. I'm just gonna quickly stitch around and I'll be right back. Okay, now we're back. And as you can see, we've stitched all the way around. We've left an opening here on the bottom. Now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to clip these corners close to the stitching, but make sure that you don't go through the stitching or you'll end up with a hole. And now we can turn our project right sides out. Now we have this opening that we need to close. And we are going to close this using ladder stitch. I am not going to show you how to use do ladder stitch in this video. Um, it is also called invisible stitch. It is a hand stitch. where you could close this up. There are loads of videos on YouTube that will show you how to do this, but I fear that the 
thread uh, will not show up and it will not really give you an accurate idea of how simple ladder stitch is. But we're going to close this up using ladder stitch and we have now finished our Bible cover. And we have our Bible here. We just simply slide it in. We slide it in on the other side. Hopefully my clip won't get in the way. Tie it in the center. And we have our handles and we're ready to go. And it fits perfect. Just like the prototype. So now we have a small one and a big one ready to go. So anybody can make this project. It is super, super simple. Just follow the instructions and you too can make a Bible or book cover for your Bible or favorite book that you want to carry around this with handles and a tie. And I urge you to learn how to do ladder stitch because it comes in handy in a lot of bag making projects and other projects where you need to uh, have invisible stitch. So that's it for today. We have made our Bible cover and it came out terrific. I urge you to give this project a try and if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and ding that bell for notifications for the next So Very Crafty video that comes out. And uh, head over to the website at www.soverycrafty.com for more sewing and crafting tutorials that you won't find here at the YouTube channel. So that's it for today. Again, I hope you enjoyed this project, and I will see you all next time. Bye!